the World Series at Dodger Stadium, getting a lot of attention, but it's not the only game in town, as you know, tomorrow night. All right, you ready for this? Ready or not, here it comes, right? The Lakers, the Trojans, the East L.A. Classic. There's also a concert taking place at Intuit Dome. All of those things happening tomorrow night at the same time, so you know there's going to be a lot of traffic. And, and people also are just driving home from right. work, and they're living their lives. Yeah. There's a lot going on. NBC4's Lauren Coronado is live at Dodger Stadium uh, with this part of our story. Good morning, Lauren. Lynette, Adrian, good morning. It is going to be a busy Friday. You can already feel a lot of that energy building. We're at the base of Dodger Stadium right now, which we were at this time yesterday as well for a different story. Of course, those remembering Fernando Valenzuela, you can see that memorial right here. It has really tripled in size, and we've actually seen some people stopping by even at this hour. So that's really going to add to the traffic around Dodger Stadium. But Robin, she's been preparing us all week long. Let's get to a map. I want to show you what we're up against. Locals should be traffic experts, right? We should be. But this is a whole new level, a Laker game, USC football, and two of the largest high school football rivalries at SoFi Stadium and Santa Ana Stadium as well, a concert at Intuit Dome, and the World Series. The countdown is on. If you are lucky enough to go to game one of the World Series tomorrow, parking will cost you 70 bucks at the gate. Many people are expected to use the metro system. If you usually commute on the metro, especially in and out of Union Station, prepare accordingly. Expect large crowds and delays. The agency says the Dodger Stadium Express will begin running just after 2 p.m. from the South Bay to Union Station. That's Friday and Saturday. After games one and two, if you're headed back to Union Station, Metro suggests walking a little more than a mile downhill to the Chinatown Station. Get your steps in, which is one stop from Union Station. Now, later today, this is important. Mayor Karen Bass is expected to share details behind the coordinated plans in place to keep Angelinos and all those visitors safe while attempting to keep traffic moving. So you can expect from the LAPD's chief of police. You can also expect to hear from the head of Metro. A lot of plans in place for that. Of course, we are tracking it all and we'll bring you another live update closer to 655. Reporting live, I'm Lauren Coronado for Today in L.A.